All right, overcast a little bit. I've been shut up in the house all day. Been working on some stuff. Some videos and stuff. I gotta go pick my grandson up. It's Monday, pick him up on Monday. Hey Larry, my friend. But I'm getting kind of every time I think I've got a handle on something as far as what my plans are and what I'm going to do uh, I have to rethink it uh, and my plans was renting a storage unit when and if I get this better scooter, faster scooter, more miles that I can go on that thing on the charge. And then somebody comes along, a subscriber, and gives me a reality check. Um, so now I don't know about renting that storage unit. It's, uh, see, this is a lady. She suggested that I talk to my daughter. See if she would be okay with me doing doing a little board fence thing, you know, one of them seven foot fences that nobody can see behind, just a little area there that uh, I can keep my stuff behind there, and that way I'm not having to run. Because it's down this road here that I'm going now, the storage unit, and there's no place for me to get to travel except on the grass, and that would be a bumpy, long, not so much a long ride, but it would be difficult. Um... So if I could keep it in the backyard, but do it behind the fence where nobody could see anything, my daughter couldn't see anything, it'd be my own little world, so to speak. Logistically, it makes a whole lot more sense for me to do that. Uh, but yeah, I would have to come down this road and as you can see, there's no place for me to ride except on the grass. I wouldn't be able to get out here on the pavement. This is a fairly busy road. Right there is a storage uh, unit right there, public storage. Um, so I'm rethinking that. Uh, also, she was telling me that a lot of these people that that do these live uh, chats on their channel that they most of them have got one or two moderators. Moderators, I wasn't too sure exactly what 
that meant and she's telling me that um they help move things along when you're going live and help weed out the troublemakers and i'm not sure how that works uh, but i'm looking more into it it makes sense so i'm gonna ask a couple of my friends that i know do live streams and see if they use moderators and i missed what that sign said but yeah things is changing you know i don't know i I'm so ignorant and naive about a lot of this stuff when it comes to YouTube. Boy, right there is something I would... <laughs> I want one. <laughs> I want one of them suckers. Man. Sakes alive. I want one of them. That <laughs> Oh, hey, Dauber, you can't have everything, Dauber. That yeah, boy, that would be the cat's meow. <laughs> yeah, that'd be the cat's meow for me. Ah. <laughs> uh. I can't have one of them. <laughs> oh, my. And I don't know about the what the criteria is for running down the sides of the roads with them things. <laughs> I can't have one of them. You see? You ignorant old man. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> it don't hurt to want. I wonder if they're fixing to redo that railroad again down through here. <laughs> Seems like every couple of years they rebuild them railroad crossings. And when they start that, they it takes them about two weeks to get it done. And the road is blocked. So my way of going here and there is, is blocked and I have to come up with another way of going somewhere or coming from somewhere. But... By the way, I don't have any, I don't have my surgery, surgical shoes on because uh, it's very difficult for me to drive. I better not run that yellow light. I don't need no ticket. It's very difficult for me to uh, control the accelerator and my brake with that there the, the surgical shoe is so clunky and wide and hard to tell where my foot's at down there without looking down there so from now on if i'm driving that that shoe's coming off the foot uh, I hadn't had my regular shoes on in a pretty good while. Yep, yeah, pretty good while. Anyway, I'm on my way over here to get my baby. And this is Monday. Tomorrow is trash day and if it's not raining I will hit the road Jack and find me some goodies but 
Anyhow. Wawa's. That's a new... We didn't have any Wawa's here until just two or three months ago. They got them built. They built three here. They built three here. Also, one of my subscribers told me that they didn't think that they manu that they built those garbage compactors like they used to now that people don't use them much anymore for some reason. I know you can still buy bags for them, but you can't find the compactors anywhere. You can find compactors, but they're manual. They're not power. So I'm having to rethink my can crusher idea and uh, I think I'm probably going to have to build one. I can buy a hydraulic ram from uh, Harbor Freight and I can build it that way. And I think about a 12-ton ram would probably be sufficient to crush cans. It would probably even crush the steel cans. But I'm looking at that, too. I got all kind of little projects. It's not projects sitting on the table that I'm working on, but it's projects in my head. In my head. But over here in the slow lane. Uh, yeah, I got projects in my head. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. Now, I've noticed something about my daughter and my middle grandson. They keep crying about coming up short every month. But here, is receipt from uh, McDonald's. Five dollars and thirty nine cents. If they would keep their butts out of McDonald's and Wawa, especially Wawa's. Uh, cause I'd almost venture to bet that in Wawa's I would bet you they're spending 50, 60, maybe even 75 dollars a month in Wawa's they are paying right at 4 dollars for a dang smoothie I like smoothies, but I ain't paying no $4 for one. Uh, you have to quit. You have to tighten the belt. Folks, if you can't afford it, you can't afford it. And they can't afford it. Not right now anyway.
But what do I know? GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>